My third script is a script called the Bitmap Maker. Um, let me run this quickly and show you what it does. So I use uh, the GDI Plus library for AutoHotKey quite often. And it's a little, especially when you get starting to get used to it, um, it's a little bit tedious to do any of the coding for it. So I created this little tool to generate the code that allows me to draw things. So let me just set this up. So I'm gonna go for new, create a new bitmap that's 200 by 200 pixels with a smoothing of two. Now I have this here and I can pick through I think about 12 different options. So if I wanna fill a rectangle, I can add that in, move it around using hotkeys, change its color, change its size, change the type of brush that it uses. So if I wanna use a hatch brush, a line brush, Um, change that to change uh, the gradient uh, line brush from rectangle. Um, <clears throat> I can add notes to it so that way when it generates my code later I have some notes in it. Uh, rounded rectangles, ellipses, pies, uh, if I want to add a picture, I can come in here and change the size of my image. So let's say 600. I can re now that I have this position, I can move it around. Okay, so you see now I can add stuff in, change, blah, blah, blah. When I'm done with this, I can save it. And I'm just gonna do, I can save this. I can also save a PNG for it, but that's not really what the purpose of this thing is. So I can, if I want, I can now save a PNG of what I just created. Um, but I, what I really wanna do is I wanna save the bitmap. And now that I've saved it, I can, 0001 test. I can load that bitmap, but I can also clipboard it. And now I can go to a script and paste it in and it gives me a function that does everything that I just had done in that editor. So let me set up a script real quick to show an example. So I have a layered window class that I can use. Um, if you watched part two, you, you've seen that um, I can use this thing here to So I've created a layered window and I'm gonna set its size to be the size of my bitmap, which is really irrelevant in this point, but, and now I can call this function And that'll return a bitmap and I can draw that on my screen. So and here we have that image there. If I want to, I can edit it. I can do whatever I want. I can pass objects to this function and replace these things with variables. Uh, I'd mentioned inside of it, there's the ability to, to add, there's the ability to add notes. Um, if I want in the note, I can do things like this, um, where it'll output an, o an object for me. So I can, I can basically create a, an associative, write an associative array in here. And then when I export the code, right here, I would have that, that object. So now I can take that object and start using it up here for something. 
So that's the bitmap maker. Um, very useful, especially if you uh, want to do some prototyping. Let me see if I can find something quick. I had originally meant for this thing to be do very small things, but you can get more complex things as well. So this thing here, this thing here, I ended up using as the background for this. So this here, I, ge I, gen I created this graphics, exported it like you saw, and then built this script around it. Let me see. Okay, so that's uh, Bitmap Maker.